What's happening, everybody? It's Terry Tate 2009, and I'm back with another Botman Project video. So in our last video, we took a look at the um, custom Harry and painted him. But now I invite you to relax. Let us pull up a chair as I proudly present the Bachman Sonic Project. Yes, you heard it here first. We're going to be making Sonic the Steam Engine. Which is basically Sonic the Hedgehog as a steam engine. Now, we're going to be making Sonic using this Bachman Percy. And this is my fourth Bachman Percy that I own. My mom got me this yesterday and it came early today. Like, that is so surprising. It's called Amazon Prime after all. So, anyways. We're going to jump to conclusions and open this boy up. This Bachman Percy runs super well. So now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna take off Percy's face. We're gonna paint him blue. And we're gonna give him red wheels, white buffers, and much more details. All right guys, now that the face has been removed off Percy, let's paint him blue. So we're gonna be using this dark blue here. So while I'm painting Sonic here, I thought I'd say a few things. So I'd like to thank whoever suggested me to make Sonic the Steam Engine. Like, I really appreciate it. I think Sonic will turn out pretty good here. Now there's an interesting story about Sonic the Steam Engine. So some of you may be thinking that Sonic is owned by Mega Hedgehog X, since Mega Hedgehog X made the trailer of Sonic the Steam Engine. But, actually Sonic is owned by um, Ben11GWR. Ben11GWR was the one who created Sonic for Mega Hedgehog X, I assume. So I think Sonic Steam Engine is a pretty cool engine. Mega Hedgehog X has made a custom track Master Sonic. And recently he's made a Metallic Sonic and a Super Sonic, which I quite like. There are a few other characters I would like him to make. Like, if we could get Amy Rose and Miles Tails Power and Knuckles, that would make my dreams come true. Same probably would go for you guys if you think. If you think Mega Hedgehog X should make Tails, tell me in the comments below. Actually, I thought of something for Tails. I think maybe Mega Hedgehog X could use Thomas. Like, that's one idea I have for him. But he can do it however he wants. If he has plans for Tails. Which I don't know if he does. I do want to mention that Tails is in the Sonic movie, but he wasn't the very end. I haven't seen Sonic the Hedgehog yet, but I would probably want to get it on DVD. Because I didn't have any motivation to watch it in the theaters, because there weren't enough characters to make this movie action-packed. Because Sonic usually gets all the screen time since he is the main character. I mean, you saw that Dr. Avrobotnik is in the movie as well, because he's the villain, obviously. But I kind of liked how um, they changed Sonic's design. Like, Sonic the Hedgehog actually looks like himself. I mean, he has the um, same eyes, he's the same shape, and he even has his um, little gloves. And those sneakers that I really like. But before that, there was this um, very first trailer of Sonic the Hedgehog, which contained like this very um, disgusting, cringy like Sonic, which had people complaining a lot. Like a lot of people hated this design. So that's why in November of 2019, they had to push the movie back to 2020 just to redesign Sonic, which I thought was pretty okay for them to push back the movie, but I kind of like Sonic's new design because it looks a lot more like Sonic from the video games. 
If you guys like that design, tell me in the comments below. Personally, I think they did so much better with Sonic because they actually tried to make him look like himself from the video games as well as Sonic X. I have seen the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog as well as Sonic SATAM. Maybe even Sonic Underground, I don't know. But I have seen the theme song. I don't think I actually watched part of the episodes. I just like the adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. It's pretty cool. If you guys um, want to know, there are some uh, memes about it. Even there's memes that the old Sonic, the cringy Sonic had. Like, they made so much memes about the old cringy Sonic from the Sonic movie. So yeah, those are like kind of funny. Personally, I think memes are pretty funny. Ever heard of dank memes? That probably explains why so people, many people make memes about Mama Luigi. But anyways, Sonic here is pretty good. We're not going to paint the second coat on camera because that will take longer. So, Sonic's first coat is done. We'll come back when I do the second coat and then we'll give him red stripes. So now that Sonic has been painted blue, let's paint his red stripes. And while I'm doing this, I thought I'd give you some more interesting facts about Sonic the Steam Engine. So, originally, um, Ben 11 GWR was going to make Sonic the Steam Engine from the Bill and Ben model, but Mega Hedgehog X didn't have any spare Bill and Ben models. So, he decided to make um, Sonic using Percy because Mega Hedgehog X had a spare Percy. And so, that's how Sonic was created. So, after that, Ben 11 GWR did some concept art for Sonic. And some people wanted him to make Sonic from Thomas the Tank Engine. But Thomas doesn't really um, suit Sonic's type. Because Thomas is like too blocky. So that's why Sonic's being made from Percy. So about the concept art. Ben 11 GWR um, painted Sonic blue to represent Sonic's blue fur. These red stripes, they're just um, there. Because Percy has red stripes. And a lot of other engines do. But anyways, we're going to paint the red wheels off camera so that the video won't take long. But I want to say that the red wheels were to represent Sonic's sneakers. And the yellow um, side rod bolts are going to be the um, belt buckles. The white buffers represent Sonic's gloves. And that's all there is. But let's talk about Sonic's face since you are pretty curious as to how Ben 11 GWR made it. So originally he started with a Thomas the Tank Engine face. He actually tried to make two attempts, but the Thomas face for Sonic looked very um, awful, so um, those were scrapped. So he took a Percy face and I guess what he did was take Sonic the Hedgehog's face and kind of um, edit Percy's face to look like Sonic. But I think maybe he might have combined both of them together to form Sonic's steam engine face so that he looks like he's from Thomas the Tank Engine and Friends. Which I think is really, really good. Now there is different type of Sonic face, which is not my favorite. But, I see it in Sonic the Hedgehog and Thomas the Tank Engine merchandise. Apart from Sonic, some determined face, which actually looks like him. Oops, I messed up here. Let's try to paint this fourth stripe. I can 
can tell this one is going to be very difficult. But we'll deal with it. Because later we will touch up where we messed up on. So that song will look a little more better. But I think Sonic is looking pretty good overall. Oh no. Not a problem though. Alright, so we'll come back when I touch up where I messed up on. And I'll come back when I paint the wheels red.